everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica. Today I have my very late update for Face the Music. This is a year-long project that I created with my friend Misty. She's going to be listed down below. There's going to be a big group of people listed down below in a spreadsheet because this is a Fantastic Ladies collab. This started December 12th of 2023. We'll go till December 11th of this year, so it is a year long. And if people want to see it come back, it will come back again. This is one of those that has tons of prompts that nobody is ever going to get through all of them and you just randomly choose however many you want. The prompt is going to be a song title and it will tell you what the product is that you need to pick out. And I am doing it six at a time just because it seems to be a decent number to work on. It's not too much, it's not too little, and yeah, I think that it is working for me. My personal goal is to have at least a rollout every single update. And this one, this update is late because I totally forgot to put it in my my uh, schedule, like my filming schedule. So if it's not there, if it's not written down into my face, I forget things. So that's why I keep very meticulous spreadsheets on my computer. And if I forget them, if I forget to update my spreadsheets, I'm in trouble. And that is why this one is a little bit late. It will be on time next month, I promise. All right, so let's get into this update. I do have one rollout. Like I said, that's my goal every single time. And this, this rollout was done like weeks and weeks ago. So there was no reason not to get this update done except for my negligence. All right. So I'm just going to go in the order that I rolled them in and then I will have a new roll in. I already did the screen grab of what the new roll in prompt is and then I will show you the product that I picked out for that prompt. All right, sweet dreams are made of this and that is a product that you use before bedtime. This is the Rose Ink Eye Revival Brightening Eye Cream. I have to, in my skincare, I have got to put on my eye creams. I, I don't want wrinkles. I, I don't need wrinkles in my life. So I have this that I am attempting to finish. I was here when I brought it in. Now I'm down at this pink line. This is going to be slow going. I think it's probably going to be mm, three or four months before I can get this one done. Maybe. I don't know. I might start using this as daytime and nighttime. That probably wouldn't hurt the under eye areas. The other eye cream that I had been working on is done. So now I don't have like a daytime eye cream and a nighttime eye cream. So I might just do double duty on that one and get it done. The next prompt is don't you want me? And that is a product on the chopping block. And it's because I don't even know why I bought this. Not all nude lipsticks are created equal. This is the Coastal Sense lipstick. It is in LS07. And I just brought it in for 10 uses. And look at the color of that. Does that not look like concealer? You can see that I put it over darker lipsticks. That's why there's like a little bit of darker tip to it. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, it works fine to go over something that's a little too dark, but that is definitely not one that you can wear on your own. So I have got four out of 10 uses on that so far. It's going to stay in. I am hoping to try to focus on that to maybe get it to roll out for the next update. The next prompt is one that I definitely will be rolling out next time. That is missing you. And that is a product you will miss when it's gone. And I can tell you when it's gone, I will repurchase it. This is the INM out the door. It is a top coat. It is the Holy Grail of Holy Grail top coats. I absolutely love this stuff. And I brought it in for 10 uses. I've got nine uses on it. So, and I probably have more than that, but I only recorded nine. And I'm gonna go with what I had. Can you hear Greta grunting? <laughs> oh, she cracks me up so much. I, um, I, I just love this. I don't even know what I was saying. So I'm going to have that one rolled out by the next update for sure because I only need one more usage on that one. And finally, we are to my rollout. That is Every Rose Has Its Thorn. And that is a product that is a thorn in your side. I discussed this in my empties, but... I hadn't updated this yet. I just happened to have this one done for my empties. This is the Sephora Mango Hair Sleeping Mask. This was obnoxious. It really was. The, the little cap that they give you to put on, it, it doesn't fit my head. It doesn't fit my hair. It's so tiny. So, like, seriously. 
my hair is not going to fit in that. I know I look absolutely ridiculous. So that was frustrating for me because I was not able to use it in the proper way. You're supposed to have it as a sleeping mask. You put this on dry hair and then you put this over your hair. You sleep on it so that you can get like a nice long deep condition. And yeah, I couldn't do that because I didn't like I don't have anything that is breathable like this. I just that's not something that I would purchase. And so I had to use this with a shower cap. I couldn't leave it on nearly as long because, you know, I have a life to live. I can't just be walking around my house in a shower cap all day. So like, I was not thrilled with this one. I'm so glad it's done. I can't wait to just throw that packaging in the trash because, yeah, no. If, uh, if you got a tiny little head and not a lot of hair, it might work for you. It might. I'm not going to say yes or no because I couldn't get the full effect. But if you got a lot of hair or a bigger head, forget about it. For the prompt, Born to be Wild, that is a wild color animal theme product. It's kind of both here. This is the BH Cosmetics Wild and Free Palette. It is a baked eyeshadow palette. And because I smoke crack, apparently, I picked the blue eyeshadow down here to use 10 times. And I haven't used it a single time because it's blue eyeshadow and, well... You know how I feel about blue eyeshadow. So that is going to be hanging out for a little bit. I need to try to make an effort to work on that one. And the last prompt is umbrella and that is rain or water themed product. I have Bare Minerals Water Lily and this was a loose mineral shadow. I used a binder and I pressed it into this tiny little pan and I've used it I think two times since I brought it in. Not the greatest update on there, but I mean, I have used it, so that's something. It's just, January's a hard month to get really good progress on things because everything comes in in the month of January. You got all these new things to play with and you wanna play with them all. So yeah, in January, nothing gets a lot of attention. It's all spread out and February is usually the month where I start to focus on things. So hopefully I will have, you know, some more usage on that for next update. All right, now I need to bring the new prompt in. I am going to put on the screen, the screen grab of me rolling for the next prompt. So I got the song Just a Kiss and that prompt is a lip product, very easy. And I decided since I have a blue eyeshadow in here, I might as well pick something equally loved. <laughs> and I brought in a red lip pencil. Yes, I know I'm smoking crack, yeah, I must be. But I'm only bringing it in for usage and I feel like the hard products I need to bring in for usage, otherwise I will never get them done if I don't kind of chip away at them just a little bit at a time. So this is the Natasha Denona I Need a Rouge Lip Crayon in Amelia, and I just want to use this five times. There's almost no point on here. It is a very pretty color. It is more of a blue based red than what I have on my lips right now. This is Bite Beauty Maple. I definitely have like a more orangey, warm toned and then this is going to be more of a cool toned red and i don't wear red that often so five uses could take a little bit of time all right that is everything for this update definitely go check out misty down below and again the spreadsheet that has everyone in there that has joined into this project if you want to join in you do not have to be a part of the fantastic ladies facebook group there should be a link to not just the spreadsheet of the participants but a spreadsheet of all of the prompts. I think there's like 333 right now. We're taking suggestions in our comments all the time from people that have song and prompt suggestions. So if you have something that you would like us to add, go ahead and put it down in the comments and we'll get it into the spreadsheet for you. And I'm guessing that is everything for this update. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.